Well, we are getting a look at what Madison's new men's homeless shelter will look like. Tonight, the Board of Public Works approved the project to start the bidding process. New at 10, Caroline Dade has you covered on how much the shelter will cost and when the city hopes to open it. Caroline. Amber and Brandon, Madison is making progress on the permanent homeless shelter that will have room for up to 250 people. Once it's built, it'll be on Bartolon Drive near the intersection of Stoughton Road and East Washington Avenue. Madison's engineering department says it will start advertising for construction bids in the new year, and the goal is to start construction around May. That step in the process will likely last about a year and a half. City staff says the goal is to open the new shelter in late 2025. A member of the Board of Public Works who lives near the site says he and his neighbors are excited to see the project the move forward. After suffering through the uh, Rhino Park encampment a couple of years ago, this sort of thing here, we're very, very pleased to see this is uh, rolling along on here with it. It definitely is needed. City, county, and federal. Right now, the city estimates construction will cost more than $22 million. The project manager says the engineering division has already adjusted the budget up some, and he can't say for sure that it won't happen again. I would say I'm more, more confident than not, but I'm not like super confident just because the market is so volatile. It's hard, hard to have any stability and, and confidence in that, right? He says the engineering division has been updating the cost estimate as plans evolve and city staff will update it again next month before the project goes to bid. The shelter plans still need to get final approval from the Urban Design Commission and the proposal will be in front of city council in early December. The city says bids for the project will be open from February 1st through March 14th.